Oh, yes, great. NGC 7129, a reflection nebula located about 3,300 light years away from Earth, is a young open cluster responsible for illuminating the surrounding nebula. The cluster contains more than 130 stars or more, less than 1 million years old. The nebula is a bluish magenta rosebud shape. The young stars have blown a large, oddly shape in the molecular cloud that once surrounded them at birth. The bluish magenta color comes from the glowing dust grains on the surface of the bubble being heated by the intense light from the young stars within. The ultraviolet light and the visible light produced by these young stars is absorbed by the surrounding dust grains. In much cooler dark molecular cloud, three very young stars near the center of the nebula are sending out jets of supersonic gas into the cloud. Well, not supersonic, but it, we're talking about super speeds. If you zoom in, you can see the collision of these jets heat the carbon monoxide molecules in the nebula. This produces the complex nebulous that appears like a stem of a rosebud. In comparison to Messier 45, the Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, is a open star cluster middle age with hot B-type stars in the northwest of the constellation Taurus. And has a distance from Earth of 444.2 light years. The cluster is dominated by hot blue and luminous stars that have formed within 100 million years. Wow, that's even older. The reflection nebula around the bright stars were once thought to be leftover materials from the formation of the cluster. But are now considered likely to be unrelated to dust cloud in the interstellar medium through which these stars are currently passing through. How I got this object, I mean, it's five times the distance or more of Messier 45, the Pleiades, or these seven sisters. So I'm going to continue to grab more images in narrowband using a hydrogen alpha filter. So. Thanks for joining me traveling out this far, 33,000 light years in space. We'll continue this journey. Take care.